Hi, I'm Josh Moyer, captain of the Cedar Cliff Brain Busters team, and I'd like to remind you that the brown marmalated stink bug has no natural predators. I'm Jay, and this is Southwestern. From Studio A at WGAL 8, it's Westfield Insurance Brain Busters. Now, here's your host, Rich Rosen. Hello everyone and welcome once again to Westfield Insurance Brain Busters. We're so excited to welcome you here as you are about to witness a half hour of challenging questions and answers. Today it's up to Cedar Cliff and Southwestern. One of these teams will return in round two to challenge Northeastern. So here we go with our opening round. Ten point questions, one big brain buster thanks to Pete Sutt. Good luck to all eight of you. When he died in 1227, this Mongol ruler's empire included two thirds of the known world. Robbie. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan is the correct answer. It gets less than two inches of rain a year and has a temperature as high as 130 degrees. What is this, Robbie? Sahara Desert. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. I'm going to complete the question for Cedar Cliff. What is this vacation spot in California? Josh. Death Valley. Death Valley is correct for 10 points. It is the main artery in your body from which all the others branch. Cough wheat. Aorta. Aorta is correct. Yes, it first appeared on a bronze two cent piece issued April 22nd, 1864. It's still found on your pocket change. What is this four word phrase? In Carly. God We Trust. In God We Trust, correct. Mathematically, it's a rectangular array of numbers or algebraic quantities. Cinematically, it's the cyber... Matrix. Matrix uh, adventures, of course, of Keanu Reeves. A former general called its hero an ignorant and stupid country lad without a spark of patriotic feeling and even a soldiery, soldiery ambition. In what novel does Henry Fleming make such a poor showing as a soldier? Josh, again. The Red Badge of Courage. You are correct again. Yes, Article 9 of its U.S. imposed constitution, the so-called Peace Clause, renounces the right to use force in its foreign policy. What Asian country is it? Che. The Philippines? No, it is not. I'm sorry. Cedar Cliff. Josh. Japan. Japan is the correct answer. Confederate Generals Jeb Stewart, Joseph Johnson, Stonewall Jackson, and Robert E. Lee all graduated from this military academy. Robbie. West Point. West Point is correct. And uh, its motto is Fidelity, Bravery, Integrity. What is this law enforcement agency? Kafui. SWAT. No, sorry. Oh, yeah. Correct. Southwestern. Robbie. U.S. Marshals. No, it's the FBI. And now it's time for the big brain buster for 10 points and a gift certificate to Pizza Hut for everybody on your team. Good luck to all eight of you. He won the 2008 Olympic gold medal in tennis. In 2010, he won the French Open, the Wimbledon tournaments, and the U.S. Open. Who is the Spanish? Robbie on the dock. Nadal, congratulations, Southwestern. In the Bible, Jacob changed his name. In 1948, Palestine changed its name. In both cases, the new name was the same. What was it, Jay? Israel. Israel, yes. Founded in the 12th century, this city on the Irish Sea is the capital of Northern Ireland. What is it, Josh? Dublin. No, sorry. Southwestern. Oh, we stumped you on Belfast. Of man's first disobedience and the fruit of that forbidden tree, whose mortal taste brought death into the world and all that woe, sing, heavenly muse. What epic poem first published in 1667 begins with these lines? I know that every one of you has read Paradise Lost by John Milton. Hannibal was a general in the Second Punic War. In what war was his father Hamilcar Barca a general? Josh. The First Punic War? The First Punic War. Yes, before the Civil War, he was superintendent of West Point. After the war, he became president of Washington College in Lexington, Virginia. Who was this Confederate general? Jenna. Lee. He's the one. Yes, in Latin, it means kidnapping, and it's the worst form of literary theft. So we're going for plagiarism. Now, that sound takes us to the end of the round and to our first break. Gives everyone a chance to relax for a bit. We'll be back with more of Westfield Insurance Brain Busters. But first, here's an important message from our sponsor, Westfield Insurance. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Mark Carricker. I am the uh, alternate for the Cedar Cliff Brain Buster team. Uh, the Cedar Cliff Technology Students Association members attended the TSA National Conference in Baltimore and made it to the finals in four of the seven events entered. These students won at the regional and state levels of competition to get to the national level. We'd like to wish the other teams good luck and back to you, Rich. 
Thank you, Mark, and thank you for staying with us. It's very early in the game, but we have a terrific competition beginning after our first round of play between Cedar Cliff and Southwestern. But these teams could not be here without some other very important people. So let's first say hello to Mrs. Audrey Plazio. She is the coach from Cedar Cliff. You teach biology. And I'm always curious, Mrs. Plazio, I mean, these are obviously very talented people who multitask at every minute. How can you attract these people to participate in something, an activity like this, when there's so a plethora of activities from which to choose. There really are, and there, it's a very talented team that I have. Every year I seem to get a very talented team, this year in particular, very proud of my team. I just advertise a lot, and it does bring the kids in. This year we had over 15 kids trying out. And you ended up with this uh, up group with of this five. Group of five kids. And I'm next to you is one of the five uh, players. It is. This is Mark Character. He's the team's alternate. And Mark, it, this is a special moment for you and basic for me and for the show because yeah. you're a freshman. I and am. Four years ago, you actually appeared on the show, but in a different venue. And uh, tell us about this experience. Well, in fifth grade, I uh, entered a competition to uh, be on the show in the uh, the finale, I believe it was, and I got to. Uh, I, I had a minute to answer as many questions as I could, and for each question, I got a $5 gift card to... To Boscov's. Boscov's. Yes, you did. Yes. yes, very good. You did quite well, and it's nice to see you here now as a real player on the show. It's nice to be back. Congratulations. Thanks for coming back and sort of full circle. Now, moving on to Southwestern, we're going to say hello to Ms. Melissa Wilson, and you are the gifted support teacher. And, and the same question, if I may pose to you. I mean, obviously, you know most of these because I'm sure Absolutely. many of them are in the gifted program, but they, too, are involved in sports and other activities. How do you attract such a fine group? It hasn't been a problem. They're very excited about it, and they make time in their busy schedules for it. Fantastic. Well, we really appreciate it. And next to you is the team's alternate. This is the first time that Joey Sheldon is here, and he's a junior. And, and, and Joey, you told me before the show that you really like science so much mm -hmm. that you are one of the few who participate in science fair. Do you, yes. Why is it? Why is science fair such a, a dying art, if you will, or, or has a, a well, lack I, of interest? I think that, I don't know, I, I just like science. Are you I'm, going to be participating this year in the science fair? Yes, I am. Do you already have some ideas uh, brewing in your uh, well, mind? I think I'm going to do something with like radiation or something. Fantastic. Well, we wish you luck. Thank you for coming here today to support your team. Now let's get back to work. It's time for today's one-on-one -on -one rapid fire. Another opportunity for us to talk to the students and learn what's going on in their very busy lives. Kafwi Jaka, senior over at Cedarcliff. You've been here before. This is you know, old uh, territory for you, but you're now the co-editor of the school paper. So inquiring minds want to know, are there any uh, features, any investigations uh, that you're doing perhaps that you're going to be featuring in the next paper? Um, well, we don't have any investigations, but we do have a major construction project at our school, which we are looking at, um, and it affects all different aspects of our school life. So we really want to comment on that. And uh, bring the other perspectives from the, the, uh, the company's perspective as well as the administration to the uh, student body. Is, is uh, somebody keeping a photo journal of what uh, is taking place? Yes, we're taking some very good pictures of that. All right, fantastic. Nice to have you here again, uh, Kafwi. And uh, Robert Story, you're a senior over at Southwestern, and acting is really important to you, and in fact, you're going to be in the fall play. So here's an opportunity. Let's uh, plug uh, Southwestern's fall play. What is it this uh, year? Southwestern will be doing a production of Get Smart based off the 60s television show. And this is a little comedy. Yeah, so. yeah, very, very much so. And um, it's going to be uh, November 18th, 19th, and 20th. So. All right, fantastic. All right, here's a little plug. I hope people come and see it. Robbie and Kafwe, let's put you two one on one. Boeing Aircraft, Starbucks, Nirvana, Space Needle, Puget Sound. What's the city, Kafwe? Seattle. Seattle, yes. He died in 1649, the first English king to be deposed, convicted of treason, and beheaded. Who was he? We stumped you on Charles the First of England. And finally, Stone Mountain in Georgia and Mount Rushmore in South Dakota are both carved from the same kind of rock. What is it? Goff? Goff? Stone? No, sorry. Yeah. Robbie. Uh, the answer is granite. Nice job, 80 to 50, as we say hello to Josh Moyer, senior and uh, uh, the captain of the Cedar Cliff Brain Busters team. And you have um, hobbies, uh, helicopters, aviation, and airplanes, and uh, your, I, I, I assume your life's dream is going to come to fruition upon leaving uh, Cedar Cliff. I can certainly hope so. I applied to Kent State University, Kent campus, in September, and I was accepted. 
So uh, fingers crossed that's where I'll, I'll be attending. And why Kent State? Uh, there's a specific reason, I assume. Kent State offers a major in aeronautics with focuses in both aviation management and air traffic control because I cannot decide which ones I would want to do yet. Aviation management incorporates a, a business aspect as well as flying, which is one of my greatest passions. And air traffic control, boy, you have to be really focused. Che Jubb, senior over at Southwestern and the team's captain, physics and engineering. That's, you're really interested in that. When did you become interested in physics and or engineering uh, as a from, pursuit? I took a physics class junior year and I just loved it. Like it was probably my favorite class in high school and I hope to do something within college. And any colleges that you have your eye on? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Well, I'm sure many have their eye on you. Okay. Che and Josh, let's fly through these three questions as we put you to one on one. They were the Arab Berbers of Northern Africa who conquered Spain in the 8th century. In lit Che. The Moors. The Moors in literature, of course, the most famous one was probably Othello. In 2009, Wikipedia posted the 10 original ink blots online, along with the most common responses to them. Josh? Rorschach. Rorschach was the test, is absolutely correct. And finally, between Andrew Jackson in 1837 and Theodore Roosevelt in 1909, only one U.S. president served two consecutive full terms in office. Who was he? If you go back in history and you remember 1869 to 1877, you'll remember Ulysses S. Grant. 90 to 60, great game going as we say hello to Jenna Fleming. You're a junior over at Cedarcliff. It's great to have you here. Now, history is really important to you, and in fact, you're so impassioned about it, you were involved in, in a competition? Yes, um, I've always been really interested in history, and last year I participated in the National History Day competition, and I created a website on the innovations and impacts of the bicycle. And um, I actually won first place at the local level. And with that, you were able to go to the regional level? Uh, the state level of competition. Oh, the state. Is this something you're going to pursue this year as well, Jenna? Yes, it is. Oh, fantastic. Well, I wish you luck. Thank uh, you. I hope it works out as just as well, or if not better. Carly Snyder, senior over uh, at Southwestern. It's great to have you here for the first time. And boy, you have, I mean, we all look forward to our winter vacation, but you really have something to look forward to. Oh, yes. I'm going to Paris and London for nine days this winter break. I'm now, is excited. this your first time in Europe? Yes, it is. Are you going with your family? Or I'm with going through the school. A um, big group of friends, and um, Mr. Ecker is taking us. Oh, d is he the French teacher? No. Do you speak, <laughs> do you speak French? <laughs> no. No? Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Every, hey, it seems like everyone seems to speak English, but... Bon chance with these three questions for Carly and Jenna, the two ladies today on our show. In February 1945, Churchill, Roosevelt, and Stalin met at this Russian seaport. Yalta. Jenna. Yalta. Yalta is absolutely correct for the post-war world. Romeo and Juliet is about two families called the Montagues and Capulets. What play by Thornton Wilder tells the story of the Gibb and Webb families? Oh, it's a classic play, and it's called Our Town. And finally, Newton called it quantity of motion. What is this product of mass and velocity? Oh, I, th I think science might be a challenge for both of you, and it's linear momentum. We would have accepted momentum.